Next up, we're gonna spray the bash bar with the flame proof flat aluminum paint. Just cause it'll look better than that. Hopefully. Just in case you guys forgot, let me show you guys how clean the interior is on this S14. Woo! This is probably the cleanest interior I've ever seen on an S14. And I'm not even joking, and I'm not just saying that because it's my car. What do you think, Emmy? You like it? Huh? You like it? Yep. She loves it. Next, we're gonna have to paint this piece right here. Check this out. This piece will fit right here, close up that whole little area. And the other day, we really didn't have much time left. Today, we got time. Let's see how well we do. Hopefully we have a little bit more success today. Check this out. This is the 3M, this is the 2.0. This is the better version of the gun that I was using before. This was like 200, 300 bucks, I forgot. I bought it a while ago. But the messed up part is you had to buy all of these other pieces and they sell it only in bulk. So I ended up spending another 150 on top with filters because we got to protect ourselves. And uh, cups and everything. But you know what, it is what it is. You get what you pay for, you know what I mean? The version one's great. Everybody says that version two is a lot better. So, I have high hopes for this gun. Let's set this thing up and get that engine bay finished. We forgot the reducer, and that's the last thing that we need. But everything closes soon. We gotta leave right now. How's it going, guys? Good. Hello. Uh, I'm looking for some reducer. Should we just get a big fat one? Might as well if you're gonna keep painting. What, so. what do you guys recommend for the, any difference? I don't really have an idea. It's all based on temperature. All based on temp? Fast or low? Uh, for right now, I would go with the medium. Medium? If you're gonna shoot like today, medium. Perfect. Thank you. If you guys didn't know, R33 GTSTs are going for 35 grand right now. I got this V-Spec R33 GTR for 35 grand. How crazy is that? And it only has 60,000 miles on it. No funnel challenge. Oh shit, I almost freaking missed. Here we go. We ready? Go in, go in, go in. Wherever, there it is. Lock her up. Let's see. Keep going. I'm just fixing my gun. <laughs> Our 
first one sprayed. We just got to hit it with clear. Uh, it's not perfect. There are some contaminants because I was lazy and I didn't clean it with the tack cloth. But you know what? I'm not a professional. We'll just leave it. He's outside doing some painting. What do you got going on over here, Luke? Uh, I'm extending my lower control arms to get more front camber. So I gotta cut the steering stop off and then split the arm and bend a piece up and weld it in there. Nice. And how much camber are you gonna be getting with that, hopefully? Six or seven degrees, probably. on the S14. I don't know if I ever showed what we had to do to fit this transmission. So this has an R154 with a tripod style shifter that sits off the back. So I had to cut the front of the tunnel out up there because it sits up high. So this engine is going to go in right now um, so I can see where the shifter sits and I'm going to build a filler plate that brings it up so that I can put the factory boot back on and it's all sealed up. But now that the engine bay is painted, I gotta be extra careful not to scratch it. Um, so it's gonna go in this time. I'll weld it all up, seal it up, and then it'll go back in for the final time tomorrow once I get these new flywheel bolts. So let's put this engine in. Just got to the shop and the 1J is in. Oh, that looks so good. What do you think, boo? Looks good, brother. <laughs> <laughs> So this is the piece I've been building. Um, you can see it's all 
spacing everything up and then it's gonna cover the hole. So I had to cut all that out. So you can see, I still gotta hammer that back section up a little bit cause it's touching, but it'll cover all that. So I'm gonna clear the carpet out, pull the engine and transmission back out and then weld this whole thing into the car. Also all the panels I painted yesterday have dried and they're ready to go in as well. I'm so hyped on this piece though. Check this out. This is the radiator support. It's removable and this thing is beautiful. I don't think I could have done any better. Absolutely no drips, nothing. I'm starting to get good at this.